Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Higher Education System, Governance, Policies and Administration Set 4. Question number 1. Eric Witt sponsors research projects in education is a unit of Option A. NCTE. Option B. NSERT. Option C. UGC. Option D. NWEPA. The correct answer is Option B. NSERT. To promote educational research in its institutional networking, the NSERT has been taking measures to create and sustain interest in educational research amongst the researchers, both within the NSERT and outside. In order to promote research, a standing committee known as Educational Research and Innovations Committee, ERIC, was set up in the year 1974. Question number 2. The National Flagship Program of Education, SSA, aims at Option A. Universalization of Elementary Education Option B. Universalization of Secondary Education Option C. Special Education in Primary Schools Option D. Special Secondary Academic Programs The correct answer is Option A. Universalization of Elementary Education The scheme of SSA, Sarva Shiksha Bhiyan, a national flagship program, is being implemented in all districts of the country. The aim of SSA is to provide useful and relevant elementary education for all children in the 6 to 14 age groups by 2010. The scheme of SSA was launched in 2001. Question number 3. Who have signed more for recognition of teacher education in special education program in India? Option A. NCTE and NACH. Option B. RCI and NCERT. Option C. NCDS and RCI. Option D. RCI and NCTE. The correct answer is. Option D. RCI and NCTE. RCI and NCTE jointly constitute a national consultative committee to evolve and review norms and standards for offering special education teacher preparation programs with disability specific specialization on other related matters to teacher service conditions. Question number 4. The midday meal program for primary schools was initiated with a view to Option A. Increase enrollment. Option B. Involve community. Option C. Engage teachers. Option D. Increase the employment. The correct answer is. Option A. Increase enrollment. The Government of India initiated the National Programme of Nutritional Support to Primary Education, NPNSPE, on 15 August 1995. The objective of the scheme is to help improve the effectiveness of primary education by improving the nutritional status of primary school children. Question number 5. Wake under SSA stands for Option A. Village Education Committee Option B. Village Enabling Council Option C. Village Environment Committee Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Village Education Committee The constitution of WICS will give community ownership to educational institutions as it functions as a part of the social system. The committee will play a significant role in micro-planning, preparing school development plan including requirement of buildings, toilet and drinking water facilities. Question number 6. Which of the following committee recommended for improvement of teacher education program? Option A. Reddy Committee. Option B. Ramamurti Committee. Option C. Yashpal Committee. Option D. Maharotra Committee. The correct answer is. Option B. 
Ramamurti Committee, Acharya Ramamurti, 1913-2010, was an Indian social activist, Gandhian, educationist and academic. He headed the Review Committee of 1990, popularly known as Ramamurti Review Committee, for evaluating the progress of the national policy on education of 1986. Question number 7. The meaning of universalization of primary education is to provide Option A. Education to all. Option B. Education to all girls' children. Option C. Free and compulsory education to all children. Option D. Free and compulsory education to the children of 6 to 14 years age. The correct answer is Option D. Free and compulsory education to the children of 6 to 14 years age. Universalization of elementary, primary education means universal access, enrollment, retention, and qualitative education up to the age of 14. Elementary education has become a justifiable fundamental right. The provisions contained in the Constitution of India insists on providing elementary education to all children. Question number 8. The first committee to be constituted after independence by the Government of India on Women's Education was Option A. Dr. Radha Krishnan Commission Option B. The Mudaliyar Commission Option C. The Shri Shri Prakasha Committee Option D. Dr. Durga Bai Deshmukh Committee The correct answer is Option D. Dr. Durga Bai Deshmukh Committee. This organization primarily works to improve the condition of women all over the country. Their major emphasis so far has been on promoting women's education in the country. Question number 9. MOOC stands for Option A. Massive Online Objective Course. Option B. Massive Online Open Course. Option C. Massive Open Online Course Option D. Mass Online Open Course The correct answer is Option C. Massive Open Online Course A Massive Open Online Course, MOOC, is a free web-based distance learning program that is designed for the participation of large numbers of geographically dispersed students. A MOOC may be patterned on a college or university course or may be less structured. Question number 10. Special education courses are controlled by Option A. Special Education Council of India Option B. Rehabilitation Council of India Option C. National Council of Teacher Education Option D. Medical Council of India The correct answer is Option B. Rehabilitation Council of India The Rehabilitation Council of India has been set up as a statutory body under an Act of Parliament and its specific role is to develop, standardize and regulate training programs slash courses at various levels in the field of rehabilitation and special education. Question number 11. National Knowledge Commission is headed by Option A. D.S. Kothri. Option B. Amartya Sen. Option C. Sam Petroda. Option D. Azim Premji. The correct answer is Option C. Sam Petroda, the NKC, National Knowledge Commission, headed by Shri. Sam Petroda has seven members. The other members are Dr. Ashok Ganguly, Dr. P. Balram, Dr. Deepak Nair, Dr. Jayanti Ghosh, Srinandan Nilekni and Dr. Sujata Ram Dorai. Question number 12. First Open University in India was established in the year. Option A. 1961. Option B. 1982. Option C. 1985. Option D. 2001. The correct answer is Option B. 
1982, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University in Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh set up on 26th of August 1982, is the first open university in India. Question number 13. Inclusive education refers to Option A. Special teaching to disabled students. Option B. Sarva Shiksha Bhiyan. Option C. Equal educational opportunities to disabled and normal students. Option D. Special education in special schools. The correct answer is Option C. Equal educational opportunities to disabled and normal students. Inclusive education happens when children with and without disabilities participate and learn together in the same classes. Research shows that when a child with disabilities attends classes alongside peers who do not have disabilities, good things happen. Question number 14. Which of the following is the apex body in the area of teacher education in India? Option A. UGC. Option B. MHRD. Option C. NCTE. Option D. Insert. The correct answer is Option C. NCTE, the National Council for Teacher Education, NCTE. This is a national level statutory body of the Government of India, established in 1995. Its objective is to plan coordinated development of teacher education system, regulate, maintain and monitor norms and standards in teacher education. Question number 15. Which of the following is described as Magna Carta of Indian Education? Option A. Sergeant Commission. Option B. Woods Dispatch. Option C. Macaulay Minutes. Option D. Hunter Commission. The correct answer is Option B. Woods Dispatch. Woods Dispatch on Education in 1854 laid the foundation of Indian educational system and the establishments of universities in Kolkata, Mumbai, and Chennai. The dispatch came to be considered as the Magna Carta of English education in India. Question number 16. District Primary Education Program, DPEP, was started in Option A. 1990, Option B. 1994, Option C. 1998, Option D. 1996. The correct answer is Option B. 1994, the centrally sponsored scheme of district primary education program, DPEP was launched in 1994 as a major initiative to revitalize the primary education system and to achieve the objective of universalization of primary education. Question number 17. University Education Commission constituted in 1948 was appointed by Option A. Ministry of Human Resource Development Option B. Ministry of Education Option C. Insert Option D. Extra. The correct answer is Option B. Ministry of Education. The University Education Commission was appointed on November 1948 under the chairmanship of Dr. S. Radha Krishnan. The commission studied the problems of the university education in India and submitted its report in August 1949. Question number 18. Education falls under the Option A. Concurrent list. Option B. Fundamental rights. Option C. Constitution of India. Option D. State list. The correct answer is Option A. Concurrent list. Education is a subject which touches every person every family and every institution in this country. Because it is such a sensitive subject, any reform of the education process must be handled with great sensitivity and care. Education came into the concurrent list way back in 1976. 
Question number 19. Which part of Indian constitution allows every citizen to impart education as per one's own religion? Option A. Directive principles. Option B. Concurrent list of center and the states. Option C. Democratic rights. Option D. Fundamental rights. The correct answer is Option D. Fundamental rights. The Constitution guarantees six fundamental rights to Indian citizens as follows Right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights, and right to constitutional remedies. Question number 20. Which of the following commission first decentralized the primary education? Option A. Hunter Commission. Option B. Mudliyar Commission. Option C. Kotri Commission. Option D. Sadler Commission. The correct answer is Option A. Hunter Commission. Lord Ripon, the then Governor General of India, appointed the first Indian Education Commission on February 3, 1882, under the chairmanship of Sir William Hunter, a member of the Executive Council of Viceroy. So, this commission is popularly known as Hunter Commission. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz, then download the Wonder Slate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us, feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.